Hey, what's up y'all? We're back with another Who Did It Better video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the same figure from two different lines. We got your SH Figure Walk and your Buzz Mod. Let's get into it. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm a casual fan of Nier Automata. Casual fan of 2B's design and the character herself. I do play the game on PS4, but... Man, I be dozing off playing that game. When I heard SH Figure Arts and Buzz Mod was doing one at the same time. I said, taking a quick look at the box, as you can see, Buzz Mod's box is massive. Man, I'm pretty sure they could have made that box much smaller. I could have filled it with something else. Then you have SH Figure Arts box, which is small, compact, like the black and white thing. Then give it to SH Figure Arts. Their box size is much more efficient and storage friendly. Now, the SH Figure Arts version was about $58, so the price will come into play when I'm grading. And I spent about $86 for the Buzz Mod version. I like the designs on it. This piece right here can rotate it, but it pops out. I do wish that the finish was a little more matted out. It's a little different from the finish down here, which is more of a satin. Nice little designs right there for the straps. I do wish they would have sculpted the cheeks on the leg. Only other thing I noticed about this figure is that the sculpt work on the back of the hair really soft, so I wasn't feeling that too much. Other than that, though, I think the figure looks pretty. These pieces right here are floaty. See the little sculpt work on it, and they're very sharp. They both have heels, so it will be tricky balancing, but I would say the Buzzmart figure is the one you're going to have the most difficulty with. And then we have Buzzmart version here, and I was excited about this one mainly because of the wired skirt, which is a really nice wire. You got some details on that too, and these pieces right here are not floaty, softer too. Other than that though, yeah, the detail is pretty much the same. It's a little more attention to the hair for Buzzmart. They did put the cheeks on the leg, but... I don't know, this upper piece just isn't really working for me. It does have a little bit of a flex to it, though. So while I appreciate both of their looks, the more matte look for the Buzz Mod, really digging. I kind of wish the SH Figure Arts was like that. The thing is, the SH Figure Arts is notably taller, which was a little shocking, actually, because it's SH Figure Arts. I'm going to have to give it to the Figure Arts for the appearance. So we have the Buzz Mod here on the left. Figure arts on the right, and I do like these faces. Buzzmar went with the side eye, which I mean has some advantages. I don't know, I don't really care too much about the side eye unless they include a whole bunch of faces. Buzzmar actually does not come with any yelling faces. So we have the second face right here for Buzzmar cloth piece. I don't even know what that purpose is for. I guess I haven't gotten that far in the game yet. Another yelling face for the figure one. A little bit more detail as far as the sculpting lines, but you can see more wrinkles and stuff on the buzz mark. I'm not really sure why they decided to include a smile rather than an angry face. I mean, does she is to be even actually smile in the game? Or is it just haven't got to that part yet? And then her last face for the buzz mark is going to be this other unmasked face. Which figure walks on the right. The faces look good. Only three swap out options for the buzz mark. And then you get four swap out for the figure walk. So the other accessories that Buzz Mod comes with is the powered up sword. I'm not even sure what this one is called. It's a little thin at the hilt. She doesn't hold it as well as I would like her to. The details on it look really nice. That's cool. I like that. It doesn't separate the hilt. You just put them in her hand. And then you have the powered down version. And that looks cool too. Buzz Mod actually put one of these at the bottom of this. Whereas SH Figure Walk did not. Static does not rotate or anything. Other things that is included with Buzz Mod. Get the alternate leg pieces. Which looks alright. The planes there. You have a left and right. You also do get two instructions. This piece right here comes with the Buzz Mod. It looks alright. I don't think it's large enough. And I don't believe there is any type of film covering it. So it does have a little bit of a glare. So that sucks a little bit. And then you have the logo down here as well. Probably could have been put on the back. Square Enix did it to me again. And then the last accessory are these robot pieces. I'm not sure what these guys are called. But you do all sorts of things with these. I think they shoot. Some type of artillery. Now these pieces don't open on either one. This is the Buzz Mall. And then here's a look at the SH Figure Watts version. Got a little bit more detail on it, and I like the finish. I like the paint. You get an arm, get you a nice little base too for the SH Figure Arts figure. That is unheard of. Thank you, SH Figure Arts. It's about time. The SH Figure Arts version sits a little taller. At least you have that. I think that's a little closer to being accurate. You couldn't give us a whole stand, then it just stands right there, right beside it. And then as far as the hands, the only hand Buzzmaw comes with that the SH Figure Arts doesn't is this calm hand right here. But you don't really need it that much. And then you have a unique hand for the SH Figure Arts too, which is the chop hand. I don't know why I only included one of those. The accessories, this one is going to be a tricky one because Buzz Mod can do some things articulation-wise that the SH Figure Arts one cannot. But I actually think I'm going to give the rating to SH Figure Arts because for the price, you still come with a lot of accessories. And compared to the Buzz Mod, you should have 
it came with more. And then the Buzz Mod does not have the angry face. For the articulation of both these ladies, I'm going to try to run through this really fast. I'm going to put them side by side, so I hope that's not an issue for you guys. As you can see, they pretty much get about the same range. But I would say that there are a couple different sections where the Buzz Mod figure actually etches out a little further than the SH Figure Wars. However, there was a point of articulation where Buzz Mod just completely dropped the ball. Now, these two figures are engineered very different from each other in some spots. The Buzz Mod, I would say, feels more like a Rebo Tech with a little bit of like Figma in it as far as the face plates because it's really spacious under there and it kind of just reminds you of like Figma how they would do this. And I would say the SH Figuarts feels more like a model kit. Figuarts' joints at the shoulders, I would say, is a little more stiff, but Buzz Mod is easier to get in the t -post. The tension for both figures is really good, especially at the knees, but both of them have really loose thigh swivels, though. If you were thinking of swapping out the skirt piece, I don't know why you would do it, but it doesn't look like the Buzz Mod skirt is glued to the torso. So you could probably make it look like that other version she comes in, but it's not going to be the same look for the figure part. I've been playing near Automata off and on, I would say, about two years. I'm probably like 7% completed something. <laughs> I would say SH Figure has dropped the ball too when it comes to that knee range though. They pulled the Luffy on us. Super disappointing. I really wish they would have included a swap out part for that man. They would have took this figure to the max. Got a ball going into the hips and a ball going into the thighs but a buzz mar. You can see me struggling trying to get her in a split. I really wish they would have engineered that a little bit different. And then we get to the ankle where mostly you got good range swivel on both of them but they did not include a rocker on the buzz mod that's crazy and the sh figure was able to squeeze that articulation into this figure is impressive one other thing i noticed the tie at the hip on the sh figure arts is actually a part of her uniform whereas the buzz mod you can see that's kind of connected to her panties so while it's odd and distracting it's not too bad and then i wanted to swap out her knee joints real quick and just show you how that works and then I'm going to swap out her face. And here I would just like to take a quick moment for the team. I don't know how I feel about this right here. But swapping out their faces is both done the same way. Swaps out nice and easy. It's tricky to get the Buzz Mod into a split because their cheeks bump up against each other. And SH Figure Arts didn't even bother to give their offer more range at the knees. And the fact that the Buzz Mod can't get an ankle rocker is an absolute tragedy. Not only that, but they didn't include an alternate set of feet where she is simulating a rocker. And they didn't even include a stand for that. So... That's almost like signing a big FU on the box, honestly. SH Figure Art shoulder design is a little more funky, so it's easier to maneuver the Buzz Mod from the torso up. It's easier to maneuver the SH Figure Art from the torso down. If this was a vote or perish type of situation, I would say the Buzz Mod is overall a more solid figure. I mean, you're going to put it on the stand anyways, right? <laughs> but they don't include the stand. If you really needed a definitive 2B, I would just kit bash the Romanky girl, see if you can find some soft goods and a custom head sculpt for it. But if you don't want to do none of that, then I would recommend the SH Figure Art. Alright y'all, that's the video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.